We'll start with the little guys. We'll keep it going with the hen hens. And then we'll finish it off with his favorite briar hens. And hope that we didn't need just 40. Because if we needed just 40, then this whole quest... Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Amazing. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF, welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Now, today, we're gonna kill my music, and we're gonna go over to the Ember Island side of the map. So, uh, yeah, we just, we haven't done much here. We have a, is that a crystal Gordo, I believe? There was another Gordo over on this side, the Lava Gordo here. Uh, Boom, Boom Gordo. And then, there was one guy up here, I think it was a teleporter though, we might have popped him already. Or he was the one that we didn't high five and we should have. But um, let's figure out what crystals eat. I believe it's odd onions and veggies. So we'll take over some of those. Um, and then these guys, I believe, eat chickens. But let's see real quick. Okay, so boom slimes love briar hens, but they eat meat. Crystal slimes love odd onions and veggies. Let's go grab some odd onions and veggies real quick because we can bring those over. We don't need to do chores because we just did. And I am still sad about losing all of that nectar because we're gonna go half the farm. I'm gonna probably farm that off screen. I know it's kind of a meme these days, the off screen farming. I'm not gonna cheat it, I'll actually farm it off screen. And maybe I'll cheat it. Okay, are there any more that we can take? We have 26 carrots and four odd onions. That's 34 total. Maybe we'll grab some heartbeats as well. Um, but I want to be able to grab a lot of chickens on the way over there, so... Uh, let's see how our chicken population's doing. Oh, you know what? We don't have a rooster right now, so these chickens aren't doing anything. So, you know what? Let's just take all the chickens. This will be okay. Those guys don't have food? How do they... Okay, some of them have food. And some of them do not have food, but they're out of food, so... We'll, uh, bring some of these. We have 34, right? So we need 16 heartbeats, and that should do it for that guy. So we'll give 10 of these away. Some of these guys were hungry. We could also get some from the outside. But I think this will be okay. What's up, Pink Ninja? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're headed over to Ember Island. Sheesh. I love it. The redeem sheesh, so good. Um, the the redeem sheesh that only redeems once and then stops is so good. The uh, the other way is just too much, too much sheesh. Me <laughs> every time, yeah. Me too. Okay, we got some carrots, so we could have we could have had these heartbeats um, elsewhere. They really leaned heavily into these cotton slimes looking like bunnies because they put carrots all over the place. All good. All good. Okay, I need a lot of chickens, so if we hear chickens, we're gonna suck them up. Um, not that. We need... Okay, that's a stony hen. There's an elder rooster out here. That's surprise... Okay. Alright, that's a thing. That just happened. Okay. Um, boy, now we're not gonna have enough room for briar hens, so I think... If there's more briar hens, then we have stony hens. Eventually, then we'll chuck the stony hens out. Are there more chickens over here? No. Okay. We'll go to Ember Island. I think it's Ember Island. You can never do that. <laughs> Bloop, what's up, little Ivy Kitty? Welcome, welcome. We're popping Gordos today. Why don't we go pop the crystal one first, and we will... Oh, more carrots. We're still gonna need the heartbeats as backup for the carrots, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, I think we need to head over... This way. And then, like, up that way, I think. So, this is... I think this is okay. I'll keep heading over... Oh no, this is the wrong side of the island. But maybe there's a way through over there now that we have the jetpack. It's probably... that feels right. I'm gonna try to, to watch my stamina though so we don't like dive bomb off the edge of the map again. 
like last time. Gordo is cuter in this game than game one. Uh, I think they're equally as cute. I don't think they made cosmetic changes to the Gordos. Other than like there are um, the new slimes as Gordos now. But I mean like the crystal one I believe is the same as the crystal one in the other game. So yeah, it, it really is peaceful at night here. I mean look at this. That was peaceful until that happened. The sounds don't come through on YouTube, which I do on purpose, but sometimes I'll react to them. We're gonna need like four of these. Oh, almost died. Six? Six of them. Boom! Oh, it's a geyser that takes us up to here. Could we have gotten up here before though? I feel like we were already up here. Maybe not. I don't remember being up here. It's this is cool though. Love these magma pools. Wow. Wow. That's relaxing. Oh, there's a a beehive up there. That's surprising. Buzzwax is mostly on the other side of the island. Let's see what's going on up here, shall we? Oh, look at that volcano. Look at that. I gotta take a screenshot of that. This is cool. Can I take a screenshot without this big old chunky thing in my way? Is there anything down here? No, I'm not risking it. Okay, let me take this as a screenshot. Like, like, like this? Yeah, there we go. Screenshot. Takes them in 4K. Does the game not have a photo mode? I don't think so. It has a screenshot button. Yeah, every game's adding it. They have a screenshot button, which is nice, but it doesn't really, like, do anything. So, all right, I want to explore around up here just to make sure I'm not missing anything, because I don't know that we'll go back up here. Unless there's something to be found. There might be, like, a secret. We go really high up. Okay, is that a cleft? No, that's not a cleft in the rock. I was gonna jump. Wow, you can see the other tree from all the way over here. How cool is that? Oh man, this game is so connected. Wow. I wonder if we turn ambient occlusion off, we could probably see it clearly from all the way over here. But man, this is cool. Okay, is that our boom guy over there? Can we, I don't think we can fly that far. I'm not gonna risk it. And we're not even looking straight at him. So I'm going to go down this way. Because this is, the, this is the safe way down. I'm all about safety now. Because I don't want to have to like back up and lose tons of progress. Okay, these heartbeats we don't need. But we do need a lot of chickens. So can we get some chickens going? Uh, hen hens. Sorry. There's going to be so many tars out here now because we fed them. There's just going to be tons of plorts. Which, tons of plorts means tons of danger. Okay. Are we going around to the right or are we going through the cave? I think we can go around to the right. I know it's dangerous out here because of these guys. And we'll get, we'll get these resources on the way back because we need a lot of these. Ow. He bit me. Um, okay, can't fly up there. Maybe we can fly up there from this bush. Dude, he's just chilling in the lava. How is that even possible? I think we can fly up there from the bush. Yeah, we just couldn't do it from where we were at before. Maybe we should have gone through the cave. It would have been a little safer. I'm all about safety. It goes the dangerous way around. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I saw a Roostro down there, so we'll grab him. Just chilling in the lava, as Roostros do, apparently. I need to um, get more chickens. There should be briar hens in this area. Okay, we might as well pick this up. Because, uh, there, oh, there's so much of it here. That came out one at a time. That's interesting.
Any hen nests over here? Huh? Hen nests? Looking for... Looking for hens? Launch me. Was kinda hoping hens would've popped out there, but that's okay. We just need so much meat to feed this guy. We need 50 meat, and we don't have any of his favorite. How much do we have now? 24, 3, and 1 is 28. So we need 22 more meat. Oh, that's so much. I'm not gonna start collecting it unless- Oh, fire slime. Oh, I'm gonna put this in next to our puddle slimes. There's tars just sitting in lava. I don't have any water. Oh, cool. we need four of those guys. So, well, maybe the tars mean that there's still some chickens around. You think that's what that means? Yeah, there's chickens around because they, they eat um, slimes, not chickens. So that actually worked in our favor this time. And these are regular hen hens, which is kind of a bummer. Another nest here. There's some over here. Oh, there's lava dust down there. Okay, why don't you just go away? I feel bad for um, all these guys turning into tars, but okay, there might be a chicken in this treasure thing over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, okay, we're getting rid of the rooster because these are briar hens. Oh wait, that's the that's the rare resource. That's primordial oil. And we need some of that too. So we'll get that on the way back. I think we need to go up here. There could be more hens up. Okay, please. I don't think we can make it all the way up though. I'll go like this. Oh, there were chickens here. Oh, oh! Okay, there's a briar hen. This is good. Avoiding the spikes. This is good. Okay, there's a there's a chicken briar chick, so there's probably a hen around here somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. More briar hens. And these are the favorites, so those count as double. So that's ten plus thirty is forty plus three. Forty-three. So we need seven more. So what's up, Nick? How you doing? Chickens, hen hens, same difference, yeah. True. Well, that was probably a message from a long time ago that I just now saw. Okay, that we need to open up somehow. I don't see any way to open it, though, currently. Y'all probably already know a way because I took time off of this game. So, it's probably all solved on the internet. How it goes. I heard one munch on something, which means maybe some hens grew up? No. What's up, Yoshi? How you doing? I'm gonna go grab those um, lava dusts because they're just they're everywhere. Oh, more hens! Yes. A little bit more hens. We're close. We're so close. Hi there. We'll just, I guess we'll just pick up the lava dust as we see it, since it's already taken up an inventory spot. So, today me and the boys were crazy. Uh oh, what kind of crazy? Like FBI raid kind of crazy? Or like, nah, we were chilling, but it was awesome. Crazy. What is over here? I feel like there's gotta be something, but there's nothing. Alright, I'm still looking for more chickens. I need me some chickens. We'll go through the caves. There's probably chickens in the caves. We need, uh... Seven? Did we say seven? We need six. So, went bowling, and boy, it was weird and awesome. Okay. Weird and awesome bowling. I'm for it. Sounds fun. Two. Three. I'm hearing munching. Stop eating the chickens. I need them to feed to this- Okay, you guys are eating veggies. That's fine. You can eat the veggies. They know to chicken violence. 
There might be chickens in here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and that was a briar hen. We might have all we need. Oh, wait, that's primordial oil. Um... Okay, hang on. If we can get enough briar hens here, then we won't need the uh, stony hens, and we can launch them. But let's see what we can do. There's more dust. We'll take the dust. Couldn't take anything serious. There's got to be something, but there's nothing is a very common statement for games with jetpacks. Yeah. That's true. I mean, they, they can only put in so many nooks and crannies and fill them in the develop- Oh, let's go high-five that guy. So now we know where he is. I didn't even realize he was down here. Okay, let's not burn alive. Also a very common statement in games with jetpacks and lava. I think. Are there any more nests? Okay, you know what? Let's go... Let's go pop the Gordo. Uh, let me do a count. 35 plus 3 is 38, and 6 times 2 is 12. And 38 plus 12 is... 50. So, we gotta go out the way we came in. This way. 260 points! Personal record! Holy moly! I think I... My personal best is like 176 or something like that. And that was a total fluke. It was funny. We visited, um, we visited family in, was it in Montana? Yeah. And one of Pink Ninja's cousins was dating a guy that was a like professional bowler. And so we went bowling with them just, you know, for fun. And I beat him on the warm up game and it was my personal best. And it was like, how in the world um, did this happen? I mean, he was he was really just taking it easy and warming up and practicing shots and stuff. So like, it wasn't like we tried to beat each other and then I won, but yeah, a personal record of like 170 something. Yeah, 260 is really good. I mean, you might as well be a professional bowler. All right, we'll start with the little guys. We'll keep it going with the hen hens. And then we'll finish it off with his favorite briar hens and hope that we didn't need just 40 because if we needed just 40 then this whole quest oh it's perfect it's perfect amazing look at that okay so we unlocked this temple thing oh there's treasures in here what are we gonna get oh a strange diamond that's awesome okay We'll take the strange diamond for sure. Accessing gg.log. This gate is sealed too, so I really must have been the first to enter since it was abandoned. I was here... It, it was here that I had my first doubts. I thought I was talking to engineers, problem solvers, people who could fix what I found. But once we left the labyrinth and met up here, I saw they were smiling. They were excited at the sight of opportunity. The company had sent their money people, not engineers. I don't think... They had even considered stabilization. It wasn't long before it all collapsed. Oh, thank you for the jump scare and the scream. So, so what do we do here? They hadn't considered stabilization? Maybe this gate links up to this gate in some kind of teleporter or something. What's this guy? Oh, he. we need to feed him tons of stuff. Um, we can get fruit together for the bat as well, and I think we have the bat, we have the butterfly guy that I gotta farm off, uh, off camera. And then we have the ringtail slime. Okay, interesting. So I don't know what that does for us, but hey, we unlocked a cool thing. And let's go back. Where was that primordial oil out here? I think it was like behind one of these rocks. And I was like, oh, that's the rare one. Yeah, here it is. Okay, we'll take two primordial oil. That's pretty good. There were tars everywhere here and the slimes just respawned. So, that's cool. Um, and then there was primordial oil inside the, the caves as well. So, we'll go back inside the caves. Those sounds scare me every time. Oh, the jump scares? Yeah. 
I know. I'm uh, not sure if I'm going to leave him in. I think it's fun. But I think it's like, unless we're playing a game where a jump scare could be swearing. Uh, yeah, no swearing. Unless we're playing a game where jump scares are a thing, maybe we'll not have the jump scare ones. It's just, I don't know, it's fun. I like having the sound effects. But I never know what to do with myself, you know, once they're redeemed. Okay, and this bat needs fruit, so we can go back home and do some chores, and then we'll come back, and we'll pop the bat, and maybe... Is that it for here? Because I think we did that one. Actually, I think this will teleport us home if we go on that side, and we can check if we popped him. I'm pretty sure we did. But we'll go back home, load up on some mint mangoes, of course, because we have too many mint mangoes. And then, uh, life, was, life is good. Tars everywhere, of course. Of course. Tars everywhere. Alright. Here we go. This way, right? Yes. This way, and then up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Of course, this goes down, but I think there's a launch pad in here that takes us up to the top. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a golden slime. Okay, let's uh, let's actually follow the launch pad properly. Barely made it. Oh wait, pomegranates are the bat's favorite fruit. We can take pomegranates over to the bat because we have a pomegranate tree that we're not even using. So, um, also I suppose we can take. Oh, we didn't pop him. Okay, let's go high five him. So that we know that he's over here. Oh, there's more primordial oil down there too. Okay, hi. Ain't gonna lie, kids these days are worse than me with the swearing. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I mean, we we like to keep things wholesome. That's that's it. Just like to keep it wholesome. So And and it's one of those things that like if somebody's gonna not watch my stream because they can't swear on it, like we had a guy that got angry about that. He was legitimately angry because I had my auto filter set up to catch some of the swear words and he was like, you're censoring my freedom of speech and we were like, you know what, hey listen, if you're not having a good time, you don't have to be here, it's okay. You know, so, just, we're gonna make it so that kids can watch, We're and it's like, unless you absolutely need to swear, then uh, you'll be okay in an environment where there's no swearing, you know? Yeah, yeah, we don't want to make people feel bad. It's just, you know, better safe than sorry, so. It's like where you're at, 10 and 11 year old kids try to be funny and disrespect us so much. Oh, really? I honestly, like, when when kids swear, when, when kid like, 10 year old kids drop F-bombs, I, like, cringe so much. I'm just like, why, why are you talking like this? Honestly. I, and I know that, like, that word culture has been desensitized to, specifically, just because people use it all the time, but, man. It just, it gets me. It gets me. So I try not to. I don't swear. I would, I would prefer that people don't swear around me, but honestly, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at somebody in, in real life and be like, stop swearing around me, because that's super rude. Um, you know, like, people are gonna do what they do. Like, people swear in the workplace a lot, so it's not like I'm gonna change people, you know? But on stream, because I know that there are kids that watch the stream, um, I will put filters in place and, and do what I can to make it a, a clean, wholesome environment. Some games I'll censor. I think it's this way. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, some some games I'll censor um, if it's like a lot of profanity. But like Hades had a little bit, and and I think it's fine to separate the game from me speaking. So I I didn't censor like Hades. But I did censor um, Firewatch because there was a lot of swearing in Firewatch, so... You automatically say to people you know you're not the best with serious stuff because you think everything's funny? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's not attempt to sell this stuff. Let's put the resources where the resources go. 
You can link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch to get a free sub every month. It's literally stealing money from Jeff Bezos. All right, let's put in a fire thing. And then we'll just burn these uh, bat brutes because we have a whole tree of them. We're going to take down the chicken coop. And we're going to put in an incinerator. Yes. With an ash trough. Yes. So now we have four puddle slimes. And four of these guys. Now we got some fire plorts. Was there no fourth one? Fourth guy wasn't hungry? There it is. Oh, they blend in so well. Same with these. Oh, and we might as well fill up on water while we're here too. Wow, 20 quarts. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, oh, let's put them down in the refinery. You can annoy everyone. Sometimes you wonder why people are friends with you because you can annoy everyone. Well, I mean, there, there's being annoying and then there's like tormenting people, right? If you know where the line is, you could be a little annoying. We have three strange diamonds. Let's check what we need for some of the upgrades. We can do the dash boots now. Um, we have a lot of this stuff. Let's see what we'd miss out on. I don't think we'll miss out on anything. If we do the dash boots. Yeah. Okay, well, we're doing that. And then this is really close. We need a little bit of silky sand. Gotta do a work thing? Alright, thanks for coming by, Pink Ninja. Um... It's a little detective work to find where the line is, but you know where each of your friend's lines are. Yeah, and, and that just comes with, I think being a good friend is knowing what sets off your friends. And uh, then, you know, not like setting them off to the point where there's no return. So. Okay, so we have dash boots like MK2. I don't think that they're faster. I think it just uses less energy the more you upgrade them. So let's do some chores around here. We'll get some guys going. I should have put the incinerator here, so I could have put the heartbeats directly next to the uh, rock slime enclosure, but whatever, it's all good. So I think there might be one more Gordo that we don't have on the map. I think there might be one more. Got three ads, by the way. Yeah, sorry about that. It's kind of a sorry, not sorry. But that way there's no pre-roll ads. Because I just, I don't know, when you go to someone's channel and you want to hang out and then immediately there's pre-roll ads, I'm like, ah oh, man, I just... Awful. Sounds of the game are so relaxing. I love the sounds the slimes make. The jump scare. These guys, I don't even need to feed these guys anymore. I mean, I don't like the idea of them being hungry. Um, but they're already maxed on ports. It's like the bat ones, you know? Maxed on ports. So we'll sell, we'll sell like 40 of these. First thing you hear when the ads end is a woman screaming. Sorry about that. I am actually sorry about that. But IE should be sorry about that, because IE is the one that redeemed the jump scare. Every time. Every time IE is like, oh, I love this game, it's so relaxing, just expect a jump scare. Because that's, that's how it is. That's how it be. It do be like that. We were trying to, so we went to, uh, we went to Albania, right? And, um, we were hanging out with some of the, some of the friends of our friends. We're trying to explain some like English phrases and things because everyone there speaks English. Um, but some of the uh, like, what's it called? The the English idioms are lost. Oh, those guys are hungry too. Let's let's feed them first. Um, so we were trying to explain the sentence like it do be like that sometimes, and you don't think it be like it is, but it do. And it was the it was the funniest thing. They're like, wait, wh what? Like, that doesn't make any sense, so. 
Use the streamer's loudest jump scare redemption as he was playing Phasmo and he jumped right out of his chair. Nice. That's epic. Load. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, these just went up from yesterday, so I guess that's fine. Honey went down, though. Terrible. Just terrible. Okay, we'll go this way and feed our ringtail and our butterfly. And we'll sell these plorts. So, we're feeding mint mangoes to the butterflies. And then we'll feed the rest to the ringtails. Can slimes die? Um, they can turn into... Tar? And they, they'll die. They can be eaten by tar, and then they, they convert to tar, and then they die. Or... Um, they can wander off the edge into the ocean, and they die. But they can't die of hunger or anything like that. And if you play on the easy mode or whatever it is that doesn't have tars, then I don't think they can die other than like getting sent into the ocean. So, okay. This guy's probably hungry, which is good because then he'll actually produce ports. Hopefully there's some ports here in the auto feeder, but I mean, there's only one. I think we have it on slow mode. Yeah, there's 13 ringtail ports, so. I want to get more ringtails, but it's not a huge priority right now. So we'll sell these. These uh, flutter plorts are so expensive right now. I think there were 80 a piece. So we could run back and get more, but we just don't need the money. There's nothing to spend our money on currently. So, what's the best slime I got right now? Oh, they're 65. They were 80 yesterday. Um, probably the flutters are the best because you can only feed them very specific food. Ringtail plorts are pretty good. Ringtail and flutters are like the end game plorts. Um, cause they're hard to, they're hard to farm. So, I think those are the best ones I have. But there's a lot, I mean, you see the empty slots in the, in the market. Like, there's, um, so much content that they haven't even made and released yet that they're gonna keep adding to the game. So, we'll go back to Slime Rancher 2 every now and then when they have new content. Okay, we're gonna feed you your favorites. Even though you probably have too many ports already. Yes, you do. We'll give this an auto feed. And we can only carry 40, so what's the point of, of collecting them? I want that last tank booster, and I want that extra tank. We're really close to the extra tank. If we find some sand... We can get it immediately. Okay, we're gonna we're feeding the bat um, the bat guys cuberries because they're also phosphors. And uh, then we'll, these guys have so many ports. I don't know what it is about the phosphor ports, but there's just like these guys specifically have gone ham on the ports. I don't even understand. It's nuts. We'll have to make a point of going out into. Uh, Popping that tabby slime because we'll need to collect a lot of uh, a lot of hen hens again. So, and we should be able to take 40 of these. Like, we won't need all 40. We'll only need 25. So, that's why I wanted to have all the fruit trees growing, just because it makes popping gordos easier. Maybe in that silo area, I'll I'll put each type of hen because there's sea hens as well. There's probably a gordo out in the ocean area that I didn't think about so yeah but as far as upgrades we're doing pretty good I'll just get some more money we'll probably need it eventually there wasn't like a 7z reward program that ended up being a money dump for cosmetics in the last game but I didn't see anything like that here so okay we're on a mission I think because we popped Gordos we'll have phone calls that are supposed to uncover some things about the island Ogden, what you got for us? Hola, Beatrix, it's good to see you. I do hope you've been taking care of yourself out there, taking time to fill your belly before every descent into the unknown. Chalky pie? Mmm, chocolate pie. Oh, sounds good. Also, I understand that the plot has thickened like a good sauce and you've encountered some kind of monolithic structure out there on the far end of the island. 
scary stuff. But then maybe my hunch is correct that all the strange flora out there is not natural. Something just doesn't add up here, Beatrix. All the ruins we've discovered across the far, far range have never looked as though they have harmed the environment in any way. Sure, we don't know their purpose or who built them, but the feeling I always had was that they had respect for this world. Maybe it happened anyway. Sometimes when you're out hiking, you step over a flower so as not to crush it, only to step on another. Oh, that's so sad. Sometimes the only way for those flowers to keep on growing is for you to have never been near them in the first place. But it's not all doom and gloom. Rainbow Island still seems to be thriving for now. Nature can find a balance, but it's not a guarantee. Ah, oh, look at me getting preachy on you. Lo siento, Beatrix. I won't keep you. I don't know what you'll find beyond those walls, but I trust your boots in any garden. I know you'll do what's right. Good luck, Beatrix. Interesting. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. It probably won't be good anymore when it reaches you. Rue. Yeah, how far do you think we can run now on one on one dash? Wow, it really improved the efficiency. I didn't realize it when I was just running in the in the base, but it really improved the efficiency. I mean, look at this. We can dash almost to the end of the island on one dash. There was st oh, okay. Don't fall off the edge. Excuse me. He split right as I attacked him. Okay, that's rude. Um, we might as well start- well, you know what, let's not start- actually... Um, no, we're not gonna collect chickens now. We'll collect chickens next time. We're headed this way. I was like, I don't think this is the right way. We'll collect chickens in the next episode, or a future episode, so... Okay, we're going to the bat guy. Actually, I'm gonna take a dip down by this beach on the side here, because I think we can get the sand from there. Then we'll go to the bat guy, so... Excuse me. My man, not cool. I think there's sand here. That guy looked like he had a mustache. Is there no sand here? I thought there was. No, maybe there's nothing over here. Hmm. Nothing over here? There's a ringtail. Oh, wow, a lot of guys came out. Just resources. Where even are we now? Have we been here? I thought we explored this whole area. But maybe not. Maybe there's a Gordo in here. Oh, this is where the bats are. And apparently a lot of tars. Oh, this is the cave we're headed to. Okay, that was a nice little loop around. I'll take that. I'm not dealing with those tars. I'm gonna go hang out with this guy. Because he's chill. Oh, a strange diamond. Nice. Alrighty, have fun with your guests. Enjoy. Okay, so that did pop this open completely. Let me grab that strange diamond, though. Wow, it is precarious getting this thing. Maybe there's two? I think there's only ever going to be one in each of those. Yeah, okay. There was primordial oil in this cave too, but we don't need it right now. Oh, a little one of these? Bonk. Like so surprised. The boom slimes look so surprised. Okay, that was the other side of that door. So that's nice, okay. Well, I guess we're not quite done with time yet, and we're not gonna pop that tabby gordo. So let's go back through the cave. We'll go to the other island and grab some of that sand that we need on the on the beachfront side. I suppose we'll grab primordial oil from here if we see it on the way out. I suppose we'll grab all the stuff on the way out. Might as well. There's so much of it. Oh, there's so many hand hands. 
Okay, restrain the urge to collect the hen hens. There's the primordial oil. This is a resources run now. That's what that's what we're here to do. How do I get out of this cave? Okay, it's this way. Like so help me, I'm stuck in a cave. More hen hens. Yeah, so that's a good place to get hen hens, I suppose. We need the stony ones though. Okay. Go around this way to the right. Um, I don't need these anymore. But what if you encounter a fruit-eating Gorda? We probably will, but we'll take the appropriate fruit. That makes it easier. I think it's this way still, right? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Headed the right way. I need a jetpack upgrade. That'd be great. Okay, what's in this little crevice? Cuberry tree. Remember when we were trying to find a cuberry? Long time ago? Weren't those the days? Alright, we're headed over to the sandy island. The sandy shores. The other uh, actually there was a thing over here, right? There is like a like a sand thing down here. Oh, it was a treasure. Ah. See that I expect a treasure to be there, you know? But there was one little like sand geyser or something that I just really didn't expect to be there. That's the other teleporter. Oh, there it is. Okay. But we don't even need to go to the other island for that. Oh, this is deep brine. Well, we needed a lot of deep brine for one of the upgrades. I think it was like the extra storage tank or something. Or... Hmm. One of them needed deep brine. Okay, well we might as well deposit this because we're in danger of dying by falling off the edge without any energy to fly all the time. That's just, that's my default, is I'm gonna fly off the edge. There's more deep brine. I didn't realize that was a common resource found on this island. I guess that makes sense why we need, we only needed 10 of it. That's why I was like, that's gotta be a rare resource. But apparently it's common enough for the, for the main island to have it. There's two, there's the, um, I guess Deep Brine and Jellystone are on the main island. Okay, we're headed back this way. And we just need a bunch of the uh, salty, sandy shore stuff. Jellystone sounds fun. One with the ocean, my friend. I don't know why we went over that way. Um, I think we actually need to go that way. Wow, two with one shot. Um, I think we can make it from here. Yeah. And there should be some kind of resource on this island. It's probably the rarer of the resources. Because this is kind of like a hidden little thing all on its own out here. Uh, I think that was a, a sea hen. Okay, I don't see any resources here though, so maybe there aren't any. Oh, I'm gonna fly over there though. Just to, to keep us on the end. Oh, a treasure pod? Okay, I'll take that. That's nice. The calm vibes this game gives. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Prepare yourselves. I'm spoiling IE's fun out here. Yeah, it is really calming. I love the music, like the, the chill piano. Okay, there's um this rock. Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. I'm not talking about anything in particular. I would have expected the sand would be out on this side, but maybe it's not. Well, the brine was from the main island, so we've seen the... 
the radiant ore. Nothing's happening. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Can't fool me. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame... Wait, fool me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is where the sand... This is what's up. There's three this time. One with the ocean. One with the ocean. This is where... Okay, okay. One with the ocean. One with the ocean. This is where all the silky sand was hiding. That was a good find, though. Okay, can we not... Can we not get up there anymore? We were able to do it before. Did you just yeet them into the water drowning them? No, it's it's not drowning. They like dissolve because they're slimes, right? So they like dissolve into it. Oh, we need another phosphor slime for this guy. What is that even gonna open? This rock? Oh, this door. <laughs> Standing right next to a door. What do you think this will open? Uh huh. Nice one. Nice one, ASTF. Okay, and this is the way back? Question mark? Is this the way back? Yeah. Well, we got our, um, silky sand, so let's head back to the base. It's a bath. It's like bathing in acid. No, it's like, it's like, it's like, um, I don't, it's, there's no human equivalent because we're not made of slime. But it's like, it's like becoming one with nature again. It's, you know, to, to, from the dust we were, and to the dust we shall return, kind of thing. Because I don't even think slimes breathe, you know? So I don't think they can drown. I've never seen a respiratory system on a slime. That's all I'm saying. Wow, we can run across this entire island now, in one sprint until we get a slime in front of us, so. Though it is death, yeah. As much as the slimes are alive, they die. Yeah, but it's not like drowning. Drowning is horrifying and inhumane. Okay, and that should allow us to get the extra tank, yeah, extra tank too. So we have six now, and this is fully upgraded. There's one more dash boot, there's one more jetpack. There's a whole bunch more of these. Art modules, power core, primordial, we need 30 primordial oil and 10 wild honey for this. I knew we needed it for something, but the power core three would be really helpful. And the tank booster would be really helpful as well. So there's still a lot to discover. Let's, uh, let's end this episode doing some chores around here. Oh, there's just a port sitting here. And an expensive one to boot. I don't like seeing my slimes hungry. We'll do some chores and then we'll plan out kind of what we're going to do for tomorrow's episode. Just like how this game bathes you in relaxed feelings. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can get a, a market link teleporter. Or a refinery link. Either one. Um, for these other zones, because then I can actually clear out the ports that are in there. Gets in um, warp tech, refinery link. Okay, we can have one of them. Oh, oh, we can have. Okay, one way back to the conservatory, yellow home portal. We can get an Ember Valley portal. It hacks the warp network on Rainbow Island, allowing one-way travel to the Ember Valley. So we wouldn't have to sprint across the island all the time. We just need some Radiant Ore for that. So we'll definitely do some more resource runs, where we like go out to do something, and then come back with resource collection. Uh, I had a, There was a refinery link. But I don't want to spend all our deep brine on it. I want to get a, a good amount going before we do that. Because ultimately that's just for convenience, it's not a, it's not an upgrade for anything else. Just for convenience. But time saved is good for a, for a YouTube or a Twitch playthrough. 
more for YouTube, because I think, you know, if you're watching a VOD on YouTube, you're kind of like, okay, you could have edited this to be a lot shorter. Is that, like, stuck in the tree? No, it was. So I breed it. These mini cheddars are bussin'. They're not, they're sussin' or bussin'. They're bussin'. I am quite relaxed playing this game. Great bussin'. I, so my relaxed state is tense. You got some of you might be the same way. Like, I have to really try hard to think about relaxing my muscles. Otherwise, they, I just stay tense all the time. Wow, having six tanks plus the water is amazing. Okay, there's a lot of pogo fruit here, so I'm gonna collect a bunch of it. Actually, this is a really nice zone to have, um... I have the ringtail por uh, ringtail guys in because there's so many fruits and veggies growing naturally here that we can we can feed them you know without having to like plant an extra fruit tree. We should plant one. Maybe we can just have a, a pogo fruit garden here. Oh, this is a garden. Or you know. Yeah, we'll just plant some pogo fruits there. I didn't even realize we started a garden here and then, like, didn't do anything. And this is perfect for this guy, because, like, that we could harvest and then shoot it straight into there. That would be amazing. I'm trying to think of, of what else to do um, for the next episode. I think I want to get my chickens set up, so I want to go out and get three roost rows. Uh, four? How many chickens are there? Hen hens? Maybe you relaxing is watching this relaxing game. It's having your legs in the air and going to sleep. That sounds relaxing. Oh, um, can we burn a port? We can. Yeah, let's burn the less expensive ones. Oh, sorry about that little guy. I'm gonna put these into the refinery because we'll probably need them in there. Same with the water ports. Oh! Hi, little guy. We might not need him in there, but I'm gonna just put all these down. Cracker Bro, when? January? And hens are your favorite? Well, I'll, I'll tell you to look away whenever we have to uh, <laughs> sacrifice a, a hen hen. What? Who said that? I don't know what you're talking about. How did, uh, how did Cracker Barrel come up? But, I mean, yeah, I, I would love to go to Cracker Barrel. I do like me some Cracker Barrel. Oh, I was like, you can buy Hen Hens? That's amazing. No, you, you cannot. Okay, we need to do the heartbeats over here. For these guys. We need to do the cabbages for the other guys, and then we need to go help out our um, our baddie port situation. So you know what? I'm gonna make. Uh, I need a market link. Do we have any calls coming in? No, there's no. Okay, I'm not even doing the right thing. At least do the roosters. Sacrifice the roosters. Well, the roosters are rarer though. So I need. To, let's see. There's hen hens, stony hens. Bee hens, briar hens. Is that all the hens? One, two, three, four hens. I think that's it so far. So if we have four pens, so we need four roostros at least, and then one of each of the hens, which we can do now because we have six wide, which is nice. So one of the runs, the first run we do, we'll go out, we'll try to get all the hen types and enough roostros to breed them, and then we'll set up hens over in the. Uh, cliffside area where we have our silo because then we we can store the extra extra hens in the silo sacrifice anything but the poor hen hens oh my heart breaks for you ie hen hens are a food but this is why like i don't really want to raise an animal that eats other animals like i don't think i would have a pet as a snake crickets i think i could feed to an animal but like i wouldn't want to do the the little mice I would not want to feed them to an, an animal. And I know if H was here, uh, or if Krieger was here, 
then I'll just use all of Krieger's names. If Krieger were here, then H would uh, definitely be like, nah, snakes are amazing. But whatever. I haven't seen him in a bit. Then it's, it's been a minute. They only live five to ten years. Imagine their poor family finding out they've been murdered. The hen hens? Hen hens have a five to ten year shelf life? I mean... They have a five to ten year lifespan? Shelf life. I crack myself up so much. What do we have- what are we gonna spend all this money on? We got all this money. You know what I should do? Well, I was gonna say I should grow another odd onion farm there instead of that one, but... So we have- I, I press C to zoom because I've been playing too much Optifine. Cuberries, pomegranates, odd onions. We have mint mangoes going. I wish once a slot filled up you can start like the same resource but in the next slot. I wish that was a thing. Any Slime Rancher devs here in this? Manami Park? Any devs from uh, Manami Park here in this? Make it so that- because I think maximum you could have 50 in each times 6. And that would be 300. So you could carry like 300 stony hens. You could have 300 roosteros and just do a meat flex on everybody. Which that sounds super gross. A meat flex? But, whatever. Oh, there's more than a hundred. There's more than a hundred. How do we keep up with this? I wonder if there's a treasure pot on top of that tree. I would put one there if I was dead. Hey, Steph, why do you always get only 39? Well, sometimes I get 40, but, you know, it's like, I don't want, I don't want that to happen. I'd rather just take 39, you know? Okay, we'll do this. We will sleep until the morning. Are you serious? Come on. Come on. Oh, we don't even deposit floors that often that it just cuts us off in the middle every time. Oh, the cottons went up to 24. That's nice. Oh, we need some pink slimes back home too. We can have one that's just pink slimes. Okay, we'll do one more run here, and then we'll go sleep, and then when we wake up, we'll check our messages. And then we'll make a plan for tomorrow, and then we'll call it there. How does that sound? Honestly, I'm pretty hungry talking about all this food. Look at I got 40 and 40. Somebody pat me on the back, because I did the thing. We have 40,000 gold. And there's no point in putting this into the refinery, because we just- we have so much. Okay, let's sleep till morning. That'll give, uh... That'll give people enough time to leave a voicemail. No voicemail. So let's just get up on our house. And call it there. So, thank you guys for coming on. Bye! If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It's one or two clicks for you. It really does help me out a ton. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. As always, hopefully you're having a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.